and Jai Shri Venkat Traman, uh, CEO and founder of Appraise. Appraise is a HR tech startup and uh, I'm also the founder and CEO of another company called Mojo Karma where we, we train women who want to re-enter the workforce and also we do leadership training for uh, leaders who want to accelerate their career. And today I'm going to be taking uh, questions on how to realize your unlimited potential in work and life with a coach. Um, if you see all sportsmen and women and the best of the athletes all have a coach. And why do they have a coach? It's not that they are not talented. They have a coach who will make them understand the big picture they are in and assess each and every loss or win and also to push them to carry on their potential to achieve the next win. So like that, a coach for a personal coach for an individual will help you to realize your potentials. And how do they do it? Coaching is a process by which it is an inquiry-led process. So what it does is the coach will facilitate you to look inwards for all the answers by asking you questions. And they will make you go deeper and deeper. And the coaching itself, the process is a very non-judgmental process. And it is an open space where you can be as vulnerable as you can and share your feelings and they are not judging you at all. And it is all you will reflect in words. You go deeper and see how you can identify your goals. What is your inner passion and what can you push? What you can you do to excel in your life? So coach will be there as a guide, but they are not giving you the answers or the solutions. The solutions and the answers are coming from yourself and they will help you to push yourself and release all the potential you have in your life. It can be your life goal or it can be your professional goal or in work. Say if you want to see how you want to accelerate then they will help you to find out solutions and see how you can accelerate your career. So that's what the coach does. It's very similar to how a coach is there for every best of the athletes and the sportsmen. Even Sanjay Tendulkar had a coach, right? So that is how coaches are. Uh, if you have a coach, yes, they will help you to uh, go beyond your potential. So now let me take the questions which have come in and answer those questions uh, one by one. Um, so let's, what's the first question which has come in is, is from Anu Acharya. I am a final year engineering student. Due to this pandemic recruitment will be comparatively lesser. How could a coach help me in this matter? All students are going through these um, challenging times. It is uncertainties are there. And they cannot even look up to some of the adults because adults are facing this pandemic for the first time in their lives. And so how can a coach help in this situation, right? So how can a coach help? The coach, with the coach, you will be able to talk about your uh, anxieties, your questions, what vulnerabilities you have. And coach will help you figure out what is it that you can, what is your inner passion? What is your goal? How can you get to that next step? So that way you will identify and see what are the steps you need to take so that it will guide you through the uh, period to find a better job once this whole pandemic is over, right? Recruitment till that time will be slower. But within that, if you identify your strengths, if you find out what is it you're passionate about, how can you upskill yourself with the help of coach, then you can, you will be ready for uh, taking up the jobs which are out there. So let's see what's the uh, next question. Next question is from Rina Matthew. Um, 
Tina Matthew asks, uh, I have taken a break uh, from my job due to pregnancy and now I want to restart my career. I'm a bit confused about my future now. How should I unleash my potential? What are the first steps? Hey, first of all, good to know that you want to restart your career and that's all we always welcome women who want to re-enter the workforce. Um, there are plenty of options to do. Uh, a coach, since you're confused about your future, if you have a conversation with a coach, the coach will help you figure out what your strengths are, what is your inner lying passion, and also to help you identify the goals that you want to keep for your personal as well as your work life. And once you've identified what your goals are, what are the strengths you are having to achieve that goal, they will help you to figure out your next steps. So talking to a coach will definitely help at this time so that you should be, uh, since you are confused about the future and you want to know what is the potential you have. So first figure out what is your passion, what is your goal is going to be and then uh, find out what your next steps are and talking to a coach will definitely help at this point because since you want to keep goals both for your personal as well as your work life and uh, see how you can uh, take have achieve those goals parallelly not compromising on the one right on the other one okay so the next question is from Alia Alia says, I want to switch my domain from finance to HR. Can a coach help me to guide in this matter? Coach can help definitely during any type of transition. Coach will, first of all, coach will help you figure out why you want to switch your domain and why from finance to HR. And especially if you talk to a career coach, coaches also there are some specialities based on what they have uh, done a lot of experience on some are called career coaches some are performance coaches so they'll help you perform better um, and some are relationship coaches so the coaches also have different uh, specialties or the niche areas they work with and if you work with a career coach they will help you figure out if finance is the right domain for you right so when I left my job in Microsoft and then I decided I want to have my own startup, then I didn't. I had multiple ideas which I wanted to go with. Um, so that was the time when I started investing in becoming a coach as well. So then my conversations with other coaches and having a talk to one of those coaches helped me figure out why I want to do a startup in a HR field because my mission is always about helping people and creating a positive environment with the people. So HR, the software which I have, HR Tech uh, software, uh, is in that right uh, frame, right? So that is what the coaches uh, help you figure out. So definitely, if, if you want to talk about it to a coach, I think you should talk to a career coach and they will help you out whether this is the right domain for you based on your strengths. And so there will be certain sessions you need to go about what your strengths are and is it the right fit. And based on that, they can help you with. So the next question is, hi, in, is from Ramya Venkat. Uh, in what ways can a coach help me shape my future? and is it compulsory so talking to a coach is not compulsory right um, as I said all sportsmen and women and best of the athletes have coaches but you also have uh, sportsmen who don't have coaches as well right so it is not necessary that you should have a coach but uh, talking what will the talking to a coach give talking to a coach will help you discover your inner strengths goals what you want to do in your life many times many of us struggle with what what is my purpose what is i am here to do what kind of what is it that i want to do in life so we go through a lot of questions within ourselves 
So talking to a coach will help you narrow it down to what your strengths are, what is your goal, what you want to do in your life. Uh, they will help you figure out what your vision is, what mission you want to do. And once you figure out your goals, then you can take steps towards it. Um, so how, like so, suppose for example, when you step out of an AC car and you're wearing glasses, right? Your glasses all fog up. And then when you wipe them, you are able to see very clearly. So that's what the coach is helping you to do. The coach kind of helps you wipe those uh, glasses and see your clarity. Because you know what you want to do, but it's all within you. And the talking to a coach will help you bring it out. So that's what. Or uh, So it's the cloth. Basically the cloth which helps you clean your glasses. If you wear glasses, you know what I'm talking about. So that the cloth, right? So you can compare the coaching to the cloth, which will help you see things with greater clarity. So then you can see and value yourself, you know, what your beliefs, what your capabilities are, and then create a future for yourself. So coaches help you shape your future, but it is not compulsory that you need to have a coach, but it is highly recommended to, if you are confused, if you don't know if it is the right path you are taking or is that what it is for me, then it helps to talk it out with the person who will help you narrow it down. Okay, so Dikshita, the next question is from Dikshita. Uh, hi, can I advice from a coach will be helpful to maintain a balance between work and life? So conversation with the coach can help you manage your time better. So basically time management is what is required when you're talking about work-life balance. And it will help you manage your time better, figure out how to balance your work and life. Uh, conversations will help in a, a non-judgmental way, can help you figure out what it is important to you and why something is important and how you can manage your time to achieve what is important for you. Because sometimes the work takes priority, sometimes the life takes priority. At that time, what is important for you uh, the, with the conversations with the coach, you will figure it out. And uh, so always remember in every situation, there are factors which we control and we cannot control. There are some which we cannot control. Right, And we need to be wise about where we spend our time, where we decide to focus. And focusing will help us get, navigate the situation better. And for that, if you are talking to a coach, the coach will help you navigate by asking you the right questions, by uh, pointing you to uh, the right direction where you are going. Because the coaches are there as non-judgmental persons can be as open as you can about your both your personal and the life space right because if you have mentors in your coach in your workplace you cannot be as open as you want to but with a coach you can be very open because the whole conversation is going to be very confidential between the coach and the you and they are as a non-judgmental as a third person they are asking those questions to help you find answers within yourself. So at that point, you will figure out how you want to manage your work and life. Is it what is important for you at that time? And what is how do you find out what is important for you? And based on that, how do you manage your time to achieve what is important, right? So that is how, that's why an advice from a coach. Uh, okay, I wouldn't say advice from a coach because coaches don't give advice. As part of a coaching session, they will not give you any advice. They will ask you questions. They will facilitate you. They will navigate with you. They will go with the flow with your conversation. So you will find answers within yourself. And that... So it is your answers because it's only they are guiding you. They are the facilitators to help you find those answers within yourself. So they will. So advice from a coach will help. No, 
but talking to a coach having a conversation with the coach will be helpful because they never give any advice they will only navigate and point you in the right direction to find out answers right okay the next question is from subi alex and subi alex has this uh, question on uh, hi does the responsibility of being a coach comes with experience or is there any certification course for this okay so for coach everybody goes to a certification process so there is a certification process so the most uh, known uh, certification is the icf coaching certification and that is to become a life coach and uh, then you have uh, dr marshall goldsmith uh, offers uh, coaching training which is what i am certified myself with and i am uh, going through the icf certification as well so that dr marshall goldsmith is the world's number one coach and uh, he has uh, programs called stakeholder center coaching and also on um, global leadership uh, assessments and things like that so and then there are other institutions which also give you coaching certifications you will find coaching uh, certifications from universities as well but what is the responsibility of being a coach comes with experience is um, so certification is always given after you practice so many hours of coaching so everybody who is certified comes with some at least 100 to 100 200 hours of coaching uh, practice and uh, they also have to undergo mentoring sessions with the coaches who are like uh, master coaches um but generally coaches are also more giving so you'll find lot of good mentors so coaching experience is also equally important as a certification and they are all driven by the ethics of being a coach so that is why when i said that any conversation you have is a non judgmental conversation everybody follows the ethics of being a coach very uh, religiously and rigorously so that they they can be the people that can go to them as uh, coaches coachy to the coaches so yeah so i think i answered that question because you have to go through a certification and along with certification you will get experience uh, of uh, coaching people and then as you gain more experience you also transform into a better coach and become a better person yourself too because at every coaching as it transforms the coach as well The next question is from uh, Ansha. Ansha is I have seven years of experience and this got me a wide variety of choices in job. What will be the basis to clearly choose my new career path? Right. Um. So you, having worked for seven years, you have done different variety of choices in job. Um. So the most important thing to figure out. your career path is to figure out what your passion is what is your mission what is it that you really enjoy doing and having a conversation with a coach will help you figure out that and then based on that you can decide what your career path is because if you have done different things and you want to pick which one you need to pick the one where you are more passionate about and uh, which will also be more rewarding as well sometimes some people are passionate about things but they may not get the monetary benefit out of it so you need to figure out what is it that you want to do and then decide on a career path and having a conversation with the coach will definitely help uh shravya hi how can a person's future be affected without a responsible coach okay uh a person's future will not get affected if you don't have a coach right 
But what is it that having a coach will give you is figure out what your inner you is. What is your inner passion? What are your vulnerabilities? It will provide you a space to talk about what you would like your future to be. It will also provide you techniques. The coach can give you techniques like future visualization, right? So you will imagine what your future is, where you're going to be, and does that resonate with what you want to be? And all conversations are non-judgmental. They don't advise, but help you navigate. So your future is not going to be affected without a responsible coach. But your future can definitely, uh, you can have navigate towards the future you want to with a better coach, right? With a good, with a coach, you can easily go through that path. They will be as your guide to go, make you go through that, your future path. Um, Tejaswini has a question. I'm a final year student of BSc and I'm confused about what to do next. Is there any way to realize my true potential? It's quite natural to get confused at the end of your graduation programs, right? Um, so a coach will help you figure out what your goal is and they, by making you self aware. And with the coach, you can determine what your next steps are. You can discuss openly your options. Figure out what your options are. Find out what your pros and cons of those different options. And since they are non-judgmental, they are not going to say, hey, okay, you study BSc and why do you want to do this or thing, right? The conversation with the coach is very non-judgmental. So they will ask you the right questions. So you will figure out at the end of it, what is it that you need to do and is that where your best is is that your true potential so that they will push you to find your true potential right okay so the next question is from Neha, mother of two have been on break for eight years now i am interested in restarting my career can you guide me through this process uh, yes definitely with the coach you will be able to figure out what you want to do and the path you need to take. And uh, once you know what what is it that you where you want to re-enter the workforce, then you can look at whatever options are there. And the coach will help you guide you in the right direction to find what is the best path for you. And how do you upskill yourself because you have been on a break? Or how do you upskill? To yourself and where you can. and talking to a career coach will help you find the right career option which you can and there are lots of opportunities especially with like jobs for her and all you can know exactly uh, it will help you to re-enter the workforce right once you figure out what is it that you want to do and the path you want to take then it becomes easy to find that path and uh, so I think I have answered all the questions. So I kept talking about talk to your coach, talk to your coach. Now I must be wondering where will I go find the coach, right? So I'm now today I'm actually representing Coaches for You. Coaches for You is a group of community of coaches with varied expertise who have come together to give back to the society in this uncertain times. So basically, all of us are doing pro bono coaching, which is we are coaching, giving some coaching sessions for free. Uh, so because we want to help uh, people navigate through these difficult times of this COVID-19, as well as a lot of uncertainties in the world. People have lost jobs, people are looking for jobs, students don't know when their final results are coming, and all that. Everybody is going through lot of emotions, anxiety, stress and so we have come together to give this, do this as part of our giving back to the society and so what we, if you want to have a conversation, explore what coaching is about and how it is going to help you, I suggest all of you go to www.coachesforyou.in so it is basically coachesforyou.in 
www.coachesforyou.in and you will find where you can register for a session with a coach so they will uh, so then you will be assigned a coach and you can talk to that coach right not necessarily me i am one of those 150 plus coaches who are part of this community so uh, i would strongly suggest please take make use of this opportunity so you can explore what coaching is about how coaching is going to help you navigate your future and unleash your potential both in your personal and your professional life right again it is www.coachesforyou.in you can also talk to a coach to really find out what it is going to be there is an option on the website for that as well so if you want to just talk or you want to register make an appointment to have an exploratory session with the coach both the options are available i strongly uh, suggest uh, please make use of it since it is offered free and we want to reach as many women as possible you can also tell your friends you can tell as many people as you want to go register in the website and they will all be assigned a coach and so that they, they, they can understand what a coach can do to their uh, life as well as work. Sometimes it could just be work issues, right? So you can assign, you can tell your family members, you can tell friends, anybody whom you want to and uh, so explore this and uh, have a bright future everyone. And thank you for the opportunity, jobs for her, and thank you.